In 1998, volleyball's world governing body, the FIVB, introduced the Libero. Since then, the Libero has become one of the most important positions in volleyball, serving as a defensive specialist and sometimes as the team's second hitter. In today's episode, we'll try to name the best Libero in the UAAP today. And joining me today are three-time UAAP best setter, Jem Ferrer. And four-time UAAP champion, the ninja herself, Melissa Gohing. Hi guys, and welcome back to this score. <laughs> Alright, so I know the UAP season is in full swing. It's just about to happen. And you guys have your picks for the best libero yeah. this season. So, first off, I want to start with Mel. Since that is your position, why did you pick this person as your number one pick? Well, I chose Kat Arado, of course. She's one of the best now. Um, she won the best two awards last season, best digger and best receiver. So it's a big thing for a libero to get both and to think na yung kakompetensya niya last season is, of course, Don Makandili, who's an awardee in, in internationally. So um, she's, she's still growing, and I know she's going to be better and better, especially next season. I'm, I'm looking forward to see her play for the next season. And of course, you have a lot of experience in this field. And you know Dawn as well. Yes. Uh -huh. So, and I think, uh, if correct me if I'm wrong, Kath won the Rookie of the Year in season 77. Yes. So uh -huh. she's a continuous improvement all throughout. But now let's move on to your honorable mentions. Yes. Um, next is um, Ponce in Adamson. I've seen her play in PVL Collegiate conference season two and she won the best libero and what i love about her is her energy inside the court because ibang kailangan din ng libero na maging vocal it really helps in defense so i can see that she leads the team when it comes to defense like the service nakita mo siyang sumisigaw siya like maririnig ang tinin kasi ng bosses niya so maririnig po talaga yung bosses niya kapag nanonood ka so it's fun to watch her play and Sabang big yung impact niya sa team niya. And to think, ah, and I found out, parang, kasi Michelle used to be a coach of Adamson, and she told me, you know, she's really a quiet person outside the court. And she's different inside the cor court, kasi gusto ni Coach Air, na very vocal sila inside the court. They always talk, everybody talks. So, yun yung parang, whoa, that's nice. And I've seen her improve. I used to train with Adamson before, and I've seen her improve a lot. And I'm so happy that she got the best libero in the PPL conference. Spoken like someone who has a lot of experience in the field. Like, <laughs> diba, Jem, kitang kita yes. mo that she's noticing all these small details yeah. that only someone in that position could really, really, really pay attention flashback. to. Flashback. Flashback. Flashback, yeah. flashback to those things. But before, joke. <laughs> but before I move on to Jem, yeah. I want to ask you about your... Well, you have one more honorable Yeah, mention. one more. Yeah. Buding Deremdes. Um, she, uh, I, I watched the finals last year, of course, because it was against LaSalle. And I've seen her play, especially as a defense. Sobrang... She's quiet, but... Ang bilis niya, parang siyang sniper. As in, Miguel, oh, she's there. So, nakakatuwa siyang panoorin. Lumalaban siya din for her team during the finals. Na, um, to think na mas experience yung Lasal. And then, FEU fought. And I've seen yung defense ng FEU. Um, they are a defensive team too. And that's, I think that's the reason why dumating sila sa finals. So, uh, and then, I saw a video of her viral video. Of course, CC won. Super baon. Then she got it. And then, over ball. But she went to the corner of the court. To the side of the court. So it became viral. I was like, oh, this girl. Do you think that was on purpose? Or was it accident? But still, a point is a point in volleyball. So it's crazy. Now I want to talk to you, Jem. And the funny thing here is, now looking at your list, it's identical. I don't know why it's identical. It's identical? Is it because you guys were teammates before? Is it because you guys just know each other very well? But talk about your list as well. Um, siguro, nagkataon lang din na same kami ng choices ni Mel. Uh, yung first option ko, of course, Kat Arado. Uh, may kita mo siya na nakapag-contribute siya sa digging niya and sa receive niya. So, magandang bagay for UE. So, kahit na parang kailangan pa rin niya ng tulong eh ng mga kasama niya yung mga spikers niya. At least, parang nagagawa niya yung role niya dun sa team niya. And my second pick, um, sino nga yung pick ko? <laughs> Dahil, joke lang. Uh, Durian Des from FEU, of course. May kita natin na sobrang laki ng improvement niya eh. Na umabot sila sa finals, lahat-lahat. And then, uh, 
dagdag na rin siguro yung experience niya sa paglalaro niya sa pro team, sa professional team. So, I hope na mapaganda yung laro niya this coming UAAP and madala niya yung experience na nakuha niya. And yung third ko naman is Ponce. Na nakita ko talaga, syempre, alam naman natin lahat na si Adamson magaling dumepensa. Magaling mag, magano niya produce ng libero eh. So, I'm happy na si Ponce nagagawa niya yung role niya na ang bigat nung parang may pressure eh kasi pag sinabi mong Adamson, depensa talaga. So, nakita natin na parang kaya ni Ponce gampanan kung ano yung talagang tawag sa Adamson na team. Parang napansin ko, you guys have a lot to say about Tang Ponce. Now, I want to stick with you, Jem, because it seems like you really also noticed a lot, especially in the last PVL season. Yeah. What was the difference between Tang Ponce this year and last year? Siguro this year, Tang Ponce, she really improved a lot kasi naging vocal na rin siya inside the court. So, isa na rin siya sa mga ate, kahit sabi mong maliit lang yan. Dapat siya yung pinakamaanga sa loob ng court. And natuwa ko sa kanya kasi naging teammate ko siya ng PVL All-Star. So, parang kahit na may mga kasama siyang senior dyan sa loob, talagang kinakausap niya parate, ate, ate, ganito po, ganyan. So, nakatawa siyang maging teammate inside the court talaga. You know, I think that's one of the nice things about what you guys experienced on the PVL All-Star Game is that people who you're not normally teammates yes. with, you get to get to know them better on and off the court as well. But since we are on the topic of the libero, I have to go back to you. How important is the libero in today's game? Well, first of all, we get the first ball. And without the first ball, walang second ball or third ball. And it's so important that you have a perfect first ball. Para hindi mahirapan, you get to, yung setter, magkakaroon siya ng perfect place. So, so important yung first ball in volleyball. Now, Jem, you aren't a libero, but of course, I want to know your thoughts on why a libero is so important. Libero, very important kasi syempre, sa kanila yung first touch ng, ng bola. So, kami, para hindi na kami mahirapan, yung mga setters, mm -hmm. kailangan maganda yung mga dumadating na bola sa amin. And it's easier for us na parang makagawa kami ng combination plays. Mm -hmm. so, yun I saw you do yun. this, like bring it close to your heart. <laughs> But it was very, it's very course, smile. It was very important to you. Lahat yan, i-appreciate mo kung sino yung mga kasama mo inside the court, especially yung libero kasi kahit saan yan, tumatakbo yan. Habol ng habol ng bola, lahat sa kanila yung pressure na sa kanila talaga. It seems like it's very close to your heart. So I have to ask, what are the qualities of a great libero? Saan, lalayo pa ba tayo? Yeah. Wait, can't make it up. Galisa Okay, so let, let's, let's, <laughs> let's, let's make this interesting. Let's, 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 let's make this interesting. Pretend like Mel is not here and talk about what makes her a great libero. Wow. Wait, I'm... Asan si Mel? <laughs> of course, si Mel. Ano yan? Ba tawag nga sa kanya, The Ninja? Kasi magugulat ka na lang eh na parang magkita mo siya nasa isang position and then biglang akala mo yung bola mapapatay na ng spiker o kaya yung drop ball ng setter biglang nandun si Mel parang saan ka nang galing <laughs> paano mo nakuha yan paano mo naabutan so yun magulat ka na lang talaga ang bilis eh ang bilis, bilis. ang bilis it seems like Mel, Mel, Mel's blushing, you know. I think we made it, no. we made it awkward. We made it awkward <laughs> enough for her. But since you are the on the topic, you said it yourself. You ang bilis, and they will surprise you. Let's talk about that sur word surprise. Who do you think will surprise us in this UAAP season? Siguro hindi na tayo mas surprise kasi we have Kat Arado, yeah. eh. Na alam mong ang laki nung pinapakita niyang improvement sa laro. Tsaka hindi lang dito sa local, sa UAP, kundi pati na rin sa international level. Mm, what about for you? Me, of course, given na si Kat Arado. So I'm looking forward, to be honest, for for booting Duremtes. Kasi from her experience, last finals, so for sure, may nakuha siya dong iba kasi pag galing ka sa finals, di ba, Jem? So yung... Yung confidence. confidence niya, for sure, iba, iba, iba yung magiging confidence niya for this season na madadala niya from her experience during the finals. So I'm looking forward. Now, as a libero, what is your advice now to those who are going to replace Don Makandili, si Mrs. Everywhere? What is your advice to them? Well, you need to have a heart, especially um, if you're in a champion team. Yun yung talagang sinasabi ko sa lahat na why we always why we won before and why we dominated before is because everybody everybody has a heart so as a libero din may puso ka din dapat kasi um sa yung first ball and minsan parang yung experience ko before na parang dela parang gusto kong buhatin lahat para yung depensa kasi first ball sa akin so kailangan ko buhatin yun para hindi na mahirapan yung mga teammates ko 
So that's in yung in yung parang dati yung mentality ko. And yun yung tinuro sa akin ni Coach Ramil. He he's super perfectionist. As in isang mali lang gumulo lang yung setter Mel. So parang nasanay ako na pero it's a good thing kasi pina-practice niya na dapat um uh you need to do your role. You need to do your role as a libero. And sobrang big role yun. Yun yung you know, as you were talking, Jem just was a smiling and looking at you in admiration because you guys were teammates yes. in, in high school. In high school, right? Now, speaking of teammates, I know you've had other great teammates in the past, but let's talk about your former team, Ateneo. What is your advice to their libero, naman? Siguro sa Ateneo liberos, um, I think kailangan lang talaga nila ng tiwala sa sarili nila, maging matapang sa loob ng court. Of course, iba-iba yung dadating na bola sa kanila eh. Hindi naman yung bola yung lalapit sa'yo. So, ayun lang, every ball adjust lang talaga, tsaka tapang lang talaga inside the court. Alright, now before we move on to our next topic, really fast. If you were to pick one person that you hated going up against, who would it be? Of, not hated, pero pero siguro nahirapan ako kasi, of course, yung time ko, it was sa Ateneo. So, Eliza. Eliza, it's, she's really hard to to read. Uh, yung spiker, na, na, mahirap, na, mahirap basahin yung bola niya. What about you, John? Not naman hate, but siguro, ang hirap kasing basahin before na spiker si Araga lang. Kasi yung daming variations ng palo niya eh. Iba-iba talaga. So, ang hirap basahin ni Araga lang. All right, now, what makes this upcoming UAP season very exciting? Well, the difference of this UAP, hindi mo alam kung sino yung step up na team. Mm. So, yun yung exciting yun. Yung akala mo na, akala mo na, na hindi malakas sa team, biglang magsistep up. So, yun yung nakakatuwa sa UAP ngayon. All right, ladies, stay with us. We still have a lot ahead of us. Still ahead, even an NBA superstar can experience an in-game glitch. Stay with us.